What up guys, welcome to Game Over Entertainment. Today we're talking about Life is Strange. I found another interesting article out there about how Life is Strange was almost never made. This game may have never seen the light of day if Die Not actually got their way, their initial way, what they had originally scheduled planned. So check this out, man. Full article in the description below. But it says here that the developer, uh, Dana Entertainment, the makers of My Life is Strange, was trying to sell Square Enix an entirely different game when they first met in their initial meeting. It says the game that they were trying to show them was initially shut down by Square Enix and they decided on the bat that it wasn't a game for them. And then Life is Strange was presented as an afterthought. Like, hey, by the way, we're also working on this. Or, hey, this would be a cool idea, don't you think? It says here that Square Enix, uh, they really love the storytelling element. And that's what made them feel like Life is Strange was a game for them. And now we're playing Life is Strange today. And so that was pretty close, man. If uh, Square Enix actually picked up on that first idea that Dot and I had presented to them, then, uh, yeah, we may not have never seen Life is Strange or been pushed so far down the pipeline that I'd probably be able to play it anytime soon. And just to let you know that some games just happen by chance, and Life is Strange is one of those chances, man. Square Enix took a chance, and now over the 1 million sales mark. So, pretty good for them, pretty good for Die Not. They were actually in financial trouble, as it says right here, and another bad game that they put out could have possibly have put another nail in their financial coffin. So, yeah. Thumbs up as always, appreciate it guys. Let me know what you guys think about this, man. And I wonder what this other game could have been. What was Don not trying to sell to sell Enix that they weren't buying? Hmm.